Hey everybody, what's going on? Hope you're having a great weekend. Um, so I was just uh, looking over some things that Pierre Polyev was posting on X this afternoon, and I was just coming across this this graph that he posted, and he says, "Crime, chaos, drugs, and disorder after nine years of Justin Trudeau, not worth the cost." Now, nothing surprising there, and I know we all know that the crime rate is going up, but when you put it on a graph or a chart like this, it really just kind of it gives you that wow factor when you go, holy shit, Justin Trudeau has been really bad. Right? I mean, look at this. Okay, so the blue part of this is conservative, liberals is red. So this is when Stephen Harper was in, was in charge, when he was prime minister. In 2006, you had 450,000 violent crimes. Then you go down all the way down to 2014, and there was about 360, roughly. Still too many, of course, but... There was an improvement under Stephen Harper. Then it goes up a little bit, and then Justin Trudeau takes office November 4th, 2015. 2016, getting closer to 400,000. 2017, we're over 400,000. 2018, 425,000. 2019, almost 500,000. About the same thing for 2020. Over 500,000 in 2021 over 525 in 2022 and then in 2023 almost 575,000 so since Trudeau's been in office it's gone up by basically 200,000 violent crimes a year 200,000 right now I know there's a lot of people out there who think well you know Pierre Polyev and Stephen Harper and the conservatives they're just as bad as the liberals this graph shows otherwise Crime, violent crime, went down under Harper, and it skyrocketed with Trudeau. Now, again, maybe Pierre Polyev's a liar. I, I've said, I say this almost every video. I don't want to repeat myself. Maybe, but maybe Pierre Polyev doesn't keep his promises. Sure, but here's the thing about politicians that I don't think a lot of people quite understand. When you get in office, your objective as a politician is to stay in power for as long as you can. If Pierre Polyev gets in in office, and after a couple years, this kind of shit doesn't change. You will see people leave his party. They'll flock back to the Liberals or the NDP or the Greens or wherever. I would hope they would go to the PPC as long as Maxim Bernier can kind of get some momentum rolling or if they just get rid of him and replace him with a new leader, whatever they got to do. Because if Pierre Polyev doesn't keep his promises, if the populists are correct, they're going to need someone who is attractive for other people to vote for. Because if they don't like Maxim Bernier, they won't vote for him. And I don't think that Maxim Bernier is very good at getting people to like him. So if he can't get things together, or if the party can't get things together within the next couple of years, if Pierre Polyev does not keep his promises, Pierre Polyev supporters are going to leap. They're just going to go right back to the Liberals or the NDP. Pierre Polyev needs to do whatever he can to stay in power. If he, if he does not keep his promises, he's gone after four years. Well, that's not as his objective. He wants to be in there as long as possible. So at least for the first couple of years, he's got to keep his promises. If he gets in in, in the in office and he's been pandering to all this, you know, populism, center-right kind of stuff, and he just gets, you know, I'm actually just going to be a regular old conservative and not actually do what I always say I'm going to do, and I'm going to continue to screw over the country and i don't care about if, if immigrants are you know overflowing it in this country i don't care if there's enough housing i don't care if we add to our national debt i'm going to get involved in proxy wars he's going to be gone so he's definitely going to at least make some positive changes because it doesn't make sense for him to get in there and not do that he'll be gone so I think personally, and again, I might be wrong, but I think that he will enact some changes in the first couple years of office. What happens to him after that, once he gets power for a while and wins another election? Well, it's a whole different story. So again, we'll see. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, we get some good results from Pierre Polyev, at least better than what we're seeing here, because this is ridiculous. Uh, that's going to be it, guys. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. Please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps grow this channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back shortly with another video.